Hey, this is Chris and Lamb of God. You're watching Rock and Metal News. This is Ron from YouTube's Rock and Metal News, and this is your Maximum Threshold Rock and Metal News report. Avenged Sevenfold will hit the road for their Buried Alive tour, which starts in Fort Myers, Florida on November the 23rd. Tickets for all shows go on sale Friday, September the 23rd. Avenged Sevenfold is excited to have Hollywood Undead, asking Alexandria and Black Veil Brides joining them on the Buried Alive tour. The previously unreleased Nirvana concert film, Live at the Paramount, will be televised on Friday, September 23rd at 11 p.m. Eastern Time on VH1, with the hour-long show being simulcast on VH1 Classic and Palladia. The broadcast will commemorate the 20th anniversary of the release of Nirvana's landmark 1991 album, Nevermind. The concert shot at the Paramount Theatre in Seattle on Halloween in 1991, features performances of several songs from Nevermind, plus non-album cuts such as Silver and Aneurysm, along with a cover of the Vaseline's Jesus Doesn't Want Me for a Sunbeam. Nirvana Live at the Paramount will be released on DVD and Blu-ray on September the 27th, the same day as a 20th anniversary reissue of Nevermind. System of a Down frontman Serge Tankian has been in the studio lately working on his next solo album. A newly made tweet reads as follows. Just finished tracking drums in the same place I recorded Toxicity with System of a Down. The sessions took place at East West Sounds in Los Angeles, California with photos from the sessions available on Serge's Facebook page. Stone Sour are excited to announce that drummer wizard Mike Portnoy will be joining them behind the kit for a one-off upcoming show at the world-renowned Rock and Rio Festival on the 24th of September. The band's regular drummer is currently home and anxiously awaiting the birth of his first daughter due the very same day as Stone Sour's Rio show. Roy personally asks his friend Mike Portnoy to fill in for what is sure to be a special once-in-a-lifetime event for the fans in attendance. Said Mike, it's my honor and pleasure to be able to put out my good friends in Stone Sour and my brother Roy in the time of need. The band's regular drummer is currently home and anxiously awaiting the birth of his first daughter due the very same day as Stone Sour's Rio show. Roy personally asked his friend Mike Portnoy to fill in for what is sure to be a special once-in-a-lifetime event for the fans in attendance. Said Mike, it's my honor and pleasure to be able to help out my good friends in Stone Sour and my brother Roy in their time of need. It's also an expected treat for me to get another visit with some of the greatest fans in the world down in Brazil. Frontman Corey Taylor added, We've been waiting a long time for the opportunity to come back to South America. This year's Rock and Rio should be fantastic. With Roy expecting his first child, we'll charge on without him, but having Mike fill in for this one show will be great. We can't wait to take stage and lay it down the only way Stone Sour knows how to do, which is full on and in your face. Continuing now with your MaximumThreshold.net rock and metal news, Norwegian symphonic black metalers Dimu Borger will be joined by an orchestra and a choir for an appearance at next year's edition of the Vakken Open Air Festival, set to take place August 2-4, 2012 in Vakken, Germany. Randy Blythe of Richmond, Virginia's Meddlers Lamb of God have finished laying down vocals for the band's new album due in early 2012 via Epic Records. The singer has offered no information about the CD's musical direction except to say that it's way better than 2009's Wrath overall. This is Ron from YouTube's Rock and Metal News with a Z, and this has been your Maximum Threshold Rock and Metal News Report. Thanks for tuning in.